Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Jillian and today I have another frugal Friday video so for this week's frugal Friday it is going to be a Ross shop with me I pre-recorded my intro when I actually went to Ross but I guess I never hit record because it's not in my storage so want to quickly jump on here and let you guys know this is going to be a Ross shop with me I did not show you guys any clothing items because I do plan on filming a Ross in store or try on I don't know when I will film that but I do plan on filming that soon so I skipped out on the clothing but I did share with you guys everything else so I went and showed you guys the shoes I showed you guys makeup and beauty I also show you guys a few purses and home decor so that's everything that you guys will see in today's shop with me I hope you guys enjoy this frugal Friday Ross shop with me because I don't think I've ever done a Ross video here on my channel I don't think I've ever done like a shop with me or a haul maybe I have but I just don't remember. So I thought it would be fun to go into Ross and see what deals they have. So let's go ahead and jump right into this Ross shop with me. All right, guys. So I'm going to be doing a voiceover just because I'm super awkward when it comes to talking in public. But we're starting off with the slippers. And all these slippers range from $8.99 to $10.99. I didn't see any that were more expensive than $10.99. They were all super soft. They had so many different like styles and colors. These last ones were the cheapest ones I saw, which were $8.99. Moving over to the shoes, I found these Tommy shoes for $24.99 and then also these slip-ons. They were a white MT brand. I'm not sure. Never heard of that brand, but they were really cute and they were only $14.99 and they did have them in red and also black. I also found some really cute Nikes for $24.99 and these were black in like a rose gold color. I thought those were super cute. And then these Calvin Klein heels and I feel like $12.99 was really good for those heels. I also I found some Nautica shoes and then also I'm going to show you guys these black heels in the corner that were $32.99. I'm not going to mention every single price for everything just because you guys can clearly see it on the tag but I'm going to be jumping in and out talking to you guys about everything that I found so I'm going to go ahead and just let you guys just watch the video and then I'll pop back in in a minute. I found these white boots that look kind of like country-ish. They were cute, but I could not find a price on it. I was looking and there was just no tag on it. So I'm not sure how much these were, but I thought I would still show them just because I've never seen anything like it. Now we're gonna move over to all of like the beauty stuff. I found this shampoo, which is a limited edition. That was $4.99. They sell it at Target and Walmart. I'm not sure how much they sell it over there for. And then I just found a bunch of different shampoos and conditioners. Some I've heard of, some I have not. If you guys have ever used any of these brands, let me know how they work. I was super tempted to pick up a few, but I just didn't know how well they worked. I guess I can just Google the reviews, but just let me know if you guys have tried any of these and how well they work. So I found this large Batiste dry shampoo for $8.99. I sometimes buy the Batiste brand, but it's not that big. I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. They do have the smaller size, but I thought I would just show that just because it was so large. And then I just found some more like deep conditioner treatments that I thought I would share with you guys. And like I said, a lot of these brands I've never heard of, but I feel like a lot of them were priced pretty good. So you guys know I love the Love Beauty and Planet brand and this is my favorite scent they have and they had a set here it was like a shampoo conditioner and I'm not sure what the third thing was but this was $9.99 and I just thought it was super cute for like a gift. They also had a bunch of other little gift ideas that were prepackaged. I loved these soap rose petals. I thought that was super cute and that was only $5.99. I thought that was a really great deal. So 
So Hask is another brand that I really like. I think it works well. I found this dry shampoo and this was only $4.99. I've tried their dry shampoos and also some deep conditioners and they work really well. I like them. I also found some high-end stuff, so like this Glam Glow, this was a moisturizer and that was $27.99. I also found a lip gloss set by Estee Lauder and that was $19.99. And then I found some Paris Hilton items. I'm not sure how well her products work, I've never used it, but there was a bunch of different sets I thought would be perfect for like Christmas gifts since Christmas is coming up. I also found this NYX set and this was $8.99. Again, perfect Christmas gift or even stocking stuffer. They also had the Balm brand. They had two eyeshadow sets and both those sets were $9.99. I also did find a Smashbox little gift set and that was on clearance for only $9.99. I'm a sucker for packaging and this set caught my eye. It was only $4.99. I also found some lashes. These lashes were by Paris Hilton and it was $5.99. I also found this little Daisy Fuentes. It's just like a beauty set and I believe that was $6.99. I have a lot of drugstore items and all these items were like $2.99, $3.99. So much cheaper than the drugstore like Target, Walmart, or CVS. I also found a lot of different beauty brush sets. A lot of these were priced at a decent price. This one was $7.99. A lot of these brands I've never heard of, but I thought the prices were good and they look like good quality. I love, love, love this brand. This is the Eco Tools. I have so many of their products. That was $14.99, which is a great deal because if you go to Target, you'll spend probably that much just on it too. So definitely check out Ross if you guys are shopping for yourself for like beauty products as far as like brushes or even for Christmas gifts. These will make the perfect Christmas gifts. Now moving on to wallets and wristlets. I found this really cute leopard cheetah one and that was $10.99 and it was a pretty good size. So I think $10.99 was worth it. I also found this wallet. I could not find a price. I was looking at the tags and the tags just did not have a price on it. But I did still show it just because I thought it was super cute. Then I found this Tommy Hilfiger one for $14.99. I'm not sure if that was worth it or not. I'm not sure how much Tommy Hilfiger usually runs. But that was $14.99. I also found this really cute red Rampage one. So they had a ton of different sizes and colors and different brands. So if you're looking for some good priced wallets, definitely Ross is the place to check out. I really love this Steve Madden wristlet one. I thought it was super cute and that was $14.99. Again, I'm not sure if that's a good price or not. I would personally spend that much on this one. I thought it was super cute, but I thought that was cute. So I showed you guys. And then I found this Michael Kors one that I thought was really cute as well. I wanted to share with you guys these flat irons that I found. They are the Revlon brand. They were $14.99. I thought that was a really great deal. And then this $19.99 Eva NYC flat iron. I'm not sure how well they work, but their hair products work really well. And I just love the design of that flat iron. 
And now moving on to purses, I found this Steve Madden one. I believe it was like $21.99. I thought that was really cute. So I'm just gonna go around and show you guys all the purses that I found and what the prices were. Again, I'm gonna let you guys just watch through for a while. I'm not gonna say how much each purse was just because I am showing the tag so you guys can clearly see how much they are. So I'm just gonna let you guys go ahead and watch all the purses that I found. Let me know if any of you guys are in to fanny packs. I think I might jump on the fanny pack wagon just because I'm finding so many really cute ones. Now we're going to move on to home decor. So I'm going to show you guys some Christmas plates that I found. Those were $4.99, the large ones, and I believe the smaller ones were $3.99. They had a bunch of matching plates. So if you guys are into these type of things, definitely check out Ross. They had a lot of different options and sizes to choose from. Is anyone else obsessed with faux plants? I am. I can never keep real ones alive, so I'm always buying like faux ones, and they had so many really cute ones at Ross. So I found a ton of really cute mirrors. Like this one was $19.99. How cute is that? That is totally worth $19, I think. I also found that one down there, which is white. And that was also $19.99. They had so many different mirrors. They also had like the floor length mirrors. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. But I was just showing you guys the smaller ones. They also had some really cute frames. I definitely need some new frames for my house. So I will probably go pick some up. And they were all super affordable. So if you guys need some new frames, definitely check out Rob as well these are the floor length mirrors that i wanted to show you guys these were definitely perfect for my room i want a new floor length mirror because the one i got from kirkland's is damaged in the corner and those two were only $19.99 which i think is a really great deal found this one this one's a little bit larger and that one was $29.99 
I found these scones that I thought were really cute. The smaller ones were $4.99 and then the larger tall ones were $6.99 and they did have them in three different colors. I'm going to share with you guys a few candles that I found. Ross has some really good candles. They had these that are more for like decor. You can totally light them, but I personally would just use them to decorate for the holidays. But I'm going to show you guys a few holiday ones, and then I'll show you guys a few other candles that you can just light up to make your house smell really good. So now I'm going to show you guys a bunch of different candles. So the prices did range. They ranged from like $5.99. And then I think the most expensive one I saw was about $12 or $13. I'm not sure. I think the Yankee ones were around $14.99. So it ranged from $5.99 to $14.99. I thought they were all really great prices because again, this candle right here was $5.99 and they sell it at Target, I think for like double the price. So if you guys like candles, definitely check out Ross. Also, TJ Maxx and Marshalls always has really great deals on candles as well. If you guys are like me you love a good throw blanket and i want to show you guys a few that my ross had this one was like a cream color with these really cute gold pumpkins and this one was only 9.99 i thought that was a really great deal and they had this sherpa one that was super soft and cozy and that one was priced at 12.99 So the Yankee candles were priced at $12.99, not $14.99, so that's even a better deal. They did have a few different Christmas scents that you could choose from. I love the velvet hangers and they had a bunch. So a lot of these were 25 packs for $9.99 and they did have a few different colors to choose from. I also thought these baskets were cute. They had large ones for $6.99 and then the smaller ones for $4.99. I thought that was really cute. You can put like fruit in it in your kitchen or just use it as decor maybe in your living room on like your coffee table. I just thought they were really cute and they had a few different sizes. So these outdoor rugs were only $5.99, which is such a, a great deal. You would definitely spend more than $5.99 if you go to Target or Walmart or any other places. So they had a few different designs. They had some Christmas ones and then they just had just some regular ones for throughout the year. So I did show you guys like three or four different designs that they had. And now moving on to bathroom stuff. This little soap pump was $7.99 and I thought it was so pretty. I'm also going to show you guys this white ceramic one that had silver on it. And this one was only $4.99. So a lot of these are priced at really great prices. A lot of them have like matching sets like the toothbrush holder and stuff like that. So if you guys are in need of some new bathroom decor, Ross has a lot that are super affordable. I think the cheapest ones I saw was about $3.99 and then they ranged all the way up I believe to like $12.99. So I'm a sucker when it comes to decorative throw pillows, especially holiday ones. They had this white one that had silver saying, let it snow with some snowflakes. And this one was one of those longer pillows and it was priced at $9.99, which I think is a really great deal because I feel like if you go to other stores, it'll definitely be more expensive. So they did have holiday ones, but they did just have like traditional colors as well. They had this like leopard one. I know leopard cheetah print is really in. So they had a, a few of those as well if you guys are in to that pattern this was another christmas one and this was a santa one that one was 6.99 i thought it was really cute and then these two that i'm about to show you guys were probably one of my favorite ones those were 7.99 i believe and i think i'm gonna go back for this one just because i loved it hopefully they still have it when i go back 
Now I'm going to show you guys some of the furniture that they have. This one was $39.99 and it had about three or four little baskets that you can store stuff I thought was really cute. They also had this glass and metal table. It was kind of like a rose gold color with glass. I thought that was really cute. They had this seat that was on clearance for $23.99. So they did have a lot of different choices to choose from. I also really loved these benches. It came in two different colors and these were $99.99. Let me know if that is expensive or if that is worth it. It was a decent size and then when you open it up, you can store stuff in it. I've been looking for one of these for my bedroom for the end of the bed and I really loved those. So I'll talk to my husband, see what he thinks, if it's priced good. They also had a smaller version right here and this one was like a gray color and that one was $24.99 and they had that one in two different colors. All right, you guys, so that is going to end my Frugal Friday shop with me at Ross. I hope you guys enjoyed today's shopping video. I tried my very best to get as many clips as possible and show you guys as many things in the store without getting kicked out. There was a security guard that kept on looking at me and watching me, and then there was like two workers that were stocking a bunch of stuff that also kept on looking at me, and they never said anything to me, but they were watching me. So I didn't want to get kicked out, but I did try my very best to get as much footage as possible. They had a lot of cute things they are starting to put out a lot of christmas stuff so i'll probably go back soon to see what else they pull out so i hope you guys enjoy today's shop with me let me know in the comments down below where you guys would like to see me go next do a, another shop with me so my next frugal friday video will probably be either a diy or my walmart activewear in store try it i'm not 100 sure which one I will do. I've been really wanting to do another DIY. I haven't done a DIY for a while, but I really also want to go to Walmart to see what kind of activewear they have. Now that I have started working out again, I've been doing some boot camp classes and I need some new activewear clothes. So I'm not sure which one I will do first. I might have you guys vote in my community tab which one you guys would prefer to see first and upload that one because I'm super indecisive of which one I'm going to upload. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Ross shop with me. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. I also really hope that you guys are enjoying this Frugal Friday series. I'm going to keep this going for about a month, like I said, to see how it turns out. If you guys really enjoy it, then I will just keep it on this channel for once a week, every Friday. If you guys would like more of these types of videos, then I might just create another channel where it's just focused on all frugal, affordable type of videos. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.